I'm here in the Russian exhibit with Alexandra Nikolina, and I'm very excited to talk about these quilts because I'm going to Russia in September, and I'll be meeting up with this group of people there. So all of the quilts in this exhibit are by Alexandra, and I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about this beautiful red and white quilt behind us. Uh, in this particular piece, you can see the Russian marriage, and you can uh, see the bride and bridegroom. We use the red color as symbolic for, uh, for Russians that goes for marriage. Mm. And also the dresses and all the ornaments you can find in both bridal gown and, the, uh, and for the, that for, for the bride, uh, uh, bridegroom, uh, we try to use all the uh, ornaments we could find in the Russian Ethnographic Museum. I would like to go to that museum when I'm in Moscow. <laughs> and you wanted to tell us about the, uh, the crosses in the corner here, the symbology of the red and white cross. Uh, this is a very particular ornament that is used in a bridal gown uh, during the marriage feast. And uh, that, is a sim that is symbolic for the field being sown. That will be like a wish for the newly wed to have many kids. Ah. To be fruitful. Yes. And you can see this ornament to be used all over the, this piece and it still bears that same meaning, a uh, wish for the newly wed to be fruitful. Hmm. Well, let's go take a look at the next quilt. Alexandra, I love this piece with all the different fabrics and all the colors. Can you tell us about this piece? Uh, this piece, this particular piece is the old calendar, old Russian calendar uh, with all the seasons depicted. Different colors represent different seasons. Uh, that's absolutely right. All the colors go really for seasons and for example blue for winter and and lighter blue for, for springtime. And you see also all the words that are written, there are old Russian names for, for months. Ah, okay. So how many different fabrics are in this quilt? Very many. For every season I use uh, 28 shades of uh, cotton fabric. Wow. So you've been collecting for a long time. You're right. They include very old fabrics as well. Mm. Maybe that's why uh, I can see how special Pravda? this is. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> so this is a very interesting piece. It's a series of four quilts, correct? These, these, this particular series consists of four works and uh, the title of it is Dancing Continents and each quilt is uh, like for, for, it goes for one continent. Well, this piece reminds me of winter, and of course, Russia is very famous for your deep winters. Uh, the, that's absolutely right. The, the, the title of this quilt is Dancing in White, but it's dedicated to Antarctic. So tell me what the other quilts represent, what other continents they represent. The red and the black quilt, for instance. The red quilt is dedicated to South America. He, uh, the, the title of it is Dangerous Kamba. The black quilt is dedicated to Africa. Uh, for me, uh, Africa associates with the tribal dances and rituals of the uh, people there. Beautiful. And what about this quilt behind us, the blue quilt? Uh, this particular blue quilt is dedicated to Europe and the title is The Blue Danube Waltz. Uh, and it's dedicated to the very well-known song or, or musical piece, The Blue Danube. Yes, one of my favorite pieces. <laughs> so, Alexandra, this beautiful quilt looks like it has a vintage collection of fabrics also. Can you tell us about this piece? Uh, this piece is called the portrait of my, my grandma's portrait. Uh, that's why also the old fabrics are being used. And even you see some tools from those times here that are used in the quilt, attached to the quilt.
and my my grandma was a exceptional hand, hand worker well handicraft worker she did a lot of, of, of sewing and crochet also uh, weaving so she taught you to quilt this blanket what we see here it really reminds me of the one I saw in my childhood uh, my grandma most likely had never in her mind that uh, her portrait would someday be in Eng England. My babushka, my grandma taught me to sew also. We have very nice uh, grandmas then. Yes, we do. <laughs> grandmas then. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Alexandra, thank you so much for showing us your beautiful quilts. Uh, uh, thank you as well. I hope to see you in Russia when I come to Moscow. I do look forward to that.